Now, this one is so easy, people have to make it hard. It's not hard, don't make it hard. Okay? What the law of reflection says is this. And I'm going to use this, the symbol theta for angle. Okay? So it says that the incident angle is equal to the reflected angle. Now, what does that mean? Well, let me show you. What I have here is I have a little mirror, and it's on top of a little projector thing I made. Okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this laser that I keep knocking off, and I'm going to shoot it at the mirror. Okay? And since you know it's not a vampire, the laser will hit the mirror and it will bounce off. Right? Now, but before we do that, we need to I need to introduce one more term. And that term is this line. This is a very special line. Okay? The line that is exactly perpendicular to the mirror. This at 90 degrees to the mirror, this is known as the normal. And the normal is always 90 degrees to the surface. Always. No matter what, the normal is always 90 degrees from the surface. And so the angle that we're going to be measuring is always from the normal. So if I fire the laser at 45 degrees from the normal, the laser has to come in at, along this line. And so this angle here, from the normal to this line here, would be 45 degrees. Okay. And according to the law of reflection, my incident ray has to, or my incident angle has to equal my reflected angle. So this angle here will have to equal that angle there. And let me show you that, so that you know that to be true. So we're just taking a, a laser and we're putting it through a sphere, through a glass stir rod so that we can bend the laser light and spread it out in a fan. Okay? And so now the laser light's hitting the board and so now we can see it. And I could have probably bought one, but it's easier to make it. So now the light comes along and it's hitting, striking the, striking the normal at zero degrees. And so if the mirror were aligned properly, then the light bouncing off of it, which you're probably having a hard time seeing, is should be along the normal too. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to adjust everything. So now it's all lined up. Alright, now. Oh, that's easier to see. Now, I made this out of cardboard, so it's a little bit off. Just bear with me. Right? Physics laws haven't changed. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this, and I'm going to put it to where the beam is coming at the surface at 45 degrees. And so when it strikes the surface, this angle here is 45 degrees. So this angle here must also be 45 degrees. And 45 and 45 is 90, and that makes a right angle. And so what we should have here is a right angle, a square, a corner. Okay? So, yeah, right. so if I change this, and I make it go in at 70, then it comes out at about 70 and so on and so forth. And so what the law of reflection tells us is that the angle of incident is always equal to the reflected angle. Always. No matter what. Make sense? How much time do we have left? Chris left, so we have what, five minutes? Three minutes. Okay.